Hi guys, it's Jimmy from Crafts Names and Things. So I have another DIY for you today. Hi guys, it's Jimmy from Crafts Names and Things. So I have another wonderful DIY for you today. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own envelopes out, out of um, the paper that we painted and added just our homemade stencils and um, stamps to. Um, this is just a magazine page from a catalog. It can be junk mail, it can be whatever you want. All I did was painted it and I stamped some images on it. And I'll put the video below so you can see it. Now here I have my DIY um, washi tape that I make. Um, I saw this on a blog and then I looked it up on YouTube and there's a lady um, secret who has a YouTube channel here. She's wonderful and she makes her own too. So um, it's actually pretty awesome. So um, I'm going to show you a video um, showing you how to do that and I'll link her video below too so you can watch it. Um, but it's a really cool one and to the blog too that I saw it at. But I just love this. That's how I discovered her is that I was looking for DIY other ways. I thought well maybe you could make it with tissue paper but I couldn't quite get the technique down and then I looked up on that blog and I saw it. But sorry I'm going on like a crazy person and you want to get to this craft. So super simple. All you do to make a handmade envelope is you just need a piece of paper. Just You can even cut it from your drop paper, it doesn't matter. But I want to show you um, one from junk. Okay, so this is just a junk mail that I did. Now all you're going to do is you take it and you fold it over, but you want a lip. Okay, and you can make the lip as big or as small as you want. Um, I like to make leave mine about an inch. Okay, and then you're just going to take it and you'll just fold it. Okay, so just make a crease on this side over here. Okay, then you're going to take this side and you're going to fold it over. Okay, and that's the flap that you'll close your envelope with. Now you're going to go on the edge and you're going to fold it over this way, just like that, about an inch in, okay, or a half of an inch in. And I don't care if it's perfect, it's just like, let's get this done, okay? Okay, so you have fold lines here. Okay, so right here we have a little rectangle. Okay, can you see that? So right here is a rectangle. Okay, and I'm going to cut that off on both sides. Okay, because that's going to make our flop. Now you don't have to do these next two steps that I'm going to show you. You could absolutely just um, fold it over and be done. But um, I just like the way that this, the way that I do it looks. Okay. And you're just going to take this, and um, this is the, our center line where we folded it in half. Um, you're going to cut that off to just the second line here. Okay? So see that fold? That's my second line. So I'm just going to cut it right to there. Hopefully I'm explaining this okay. Alrighty. Just like that. And then we're going to... Let's see here. Here's my sample one. Okay. So let's do that with the other side. Okay. And then what we have to do is we have to get rid of this flop here. Okay. Okay, because when we fold it over, we're going to just push that over and that'll give us an envelope. Does that make sense? Hopefully so. Okay. So you and you could do this with scrapbooking paper. I just like to do it with recycled materials and I will absolutely throw, you know, happy mail in here even cards that I make because I make handmade cards just all sorts of stuff just throw it in here and you're good to go okay Absolutely. okay and you see that these aren't even and that's just fine it doesn't have to be even okay and then all you're gonna do is you take your glue stick okay and you apply some glue right to the flap okay and let me show you here too so what you end up with is this okay so you cut these two away we folded it in half, okay? And then um, you're just going to fold that over, just like that. Now, um, the glue stick is fine, but I just like to reinforce mine and add a little bit of pizzazz to it. So I'm going to take my DIY tape. I'm going to actually use this kind. And this is so simple to make. This is just tissue paper that I got from the dollar store. And imagine all the DIY washi tape that you can make from tissue paper. There's so many beautiful tissue papers out there. It can be a little difficult to get off sometimes, but that's just because of the double-sided sticky. Yeah. 
because it's tape. Okay, you're just going to take it and make sure that you put half of the tape on this, on the, your fold. Okay, hopefully you can see this, I hope. Okay, we're just going to take it and we're going to smooth it out. And this stuff works great. And I get my double-sided sticky tape at the, at a, an art store near my house. It's super cheap. And this is nice and wide, but you could do it in any width. And I'm talking so much about this washi tape that I'm going to make that video next. Okay, so you're just going to take it just like that. Okay. Just like that. Okay. It's just so easy to make. Okay. There you go. And you have an envelope. Okay. So when you mail it, all you'll do is just take your hot, just take your, not your hot glue, your glue stick, and you'll just apply it. And then I would even put another piece of washi tape there just to make sure that it's secure or you can staple it. Okay. But look at how cute that is. And then you just slap on a label. And this envelope costs you pennies to make. And the best part is that um, they can open this up and use it to collage. You know, and it didn't cost you any money. And um, I know sometimes you spend hours decorating those envelopes. And then you always wonder, like, is someone just going to throw this in the trash? You know, but that's part of letting go but but it's nice that you could do something equally beautiful you know and wonderful um, that you really don't mind if someone just tosses but I would never do that if someone sent me happy mail <laughs> but just in case there's always ways that you can repurpose it with collaging and all sorts of stuff but um, hopefully that's an easy way um, for you to make your own handmade envelopes for happy mail for cards for mixed media for whatever you need them for. So thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you next time. I'll put a link below to how I decorate my paper and to the DIY tissue paper washi tape. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.